Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of TCG Talk. And today we are back with part two of our three part mini series on like top favorite cards for specific heroes. We recently did Viserai a couple of days ago, um, and now we're going to be doing Katsu. Um, so Katsu is my first ever hero, still is probably my main, if I'm being honest. Um, and I love Katsu. I think he has some of the coolest artwork and just coolest cards. Um, so I really enjoy playing him. <coughs> um, so I want to give you my five favorite cards. Again, just like with the Viserai video, these aren't necessarily like the five best cards for Katsu. These are like five cards that yes, are good, but also five cards that I just enjoy the artwork. I enjoy the effects. I just enjoy the cards as a whole. So I wanted to do some fun, kind of easy content for y'all and put these out and see what y'all thought. Um, so any Katsu mains out there, let me know your favorite cards in the comments below. I'd really love to hear it. And yeah, we'll get right into it. So for me, number one is Pounding Gale. This is kind of an interesting card, not something that everybody runs. Um, but I One, I love the artwork. The artwork's just sick, uh, like lifting someone off the ground with a giant fist, right? Um, but its effect is if you've played open the center prior to it, whatever damage Pounding Gill deals, it deals double that damage. So let's just say, for example, they've already blocked out with all their cards this turn and Pounding Gill plays after open the center. Now, all of a sudden, Pounding Gill, if it hits for five, it's hitting for ten. Or let's say they block four of it, right? And they leave one in. Instead of hitting for one, it's hitting for two. Um, and when you, if you can couple this with like a Razor Reflex, then it becomes even more insane, um, dealing three additional damage and, and doubling that. So it's really good uh, overall. And I just love the card. It's one of my favorite combo cards in the set. Um, and it's kind of a unique one because not every Katsu player will play it. I play mainly aggro Katsu. So. For me, this is one of my favorite cards to try to go find after playing open the center. Um, and if you can get the full head jab line, that's just insane. <clears throat> for number two for me, um, I Rising E Thrust is amazing. I, I love the leg tap line. I know everybody loves the McGinchy line, you know, Surging Strike to Whelming Gust Wave to McGinchy to Lord of Wind. That's kind of like the marquee line for Katsu. But for me, the most useful line and the most consistent line is the leg tap line. Um for Rising Ether Rest, it's zero cost. And if you played Leg Tap prior to, it gains plus two and go again. So at red, you're hitting for five with go again if you just played Leg Tap. So essentially, you're playing Leg Tap and Rising Ether Rest. So you're hitting for nine. Both cards had go again, and you've only used one resource. So that's pretty nutty to me. Um, I love the card. Uh, it's one of my favorite cards. You can even run it at blue for Kadachis and for block, which a lot of people will do. Um, so yeah, the card is just a great card. It's one of my favorite combo cards in the set. And it's one that I normally run six of. I normally run three blues and three reds in the deck. My third one is Ancestral Empowerment. The best pump that Katsu has, hands down. Um, I will use this, obviously, if someone exact blocks me, I'll use Ancestral Empowerment, give them my attack plus one, and I'll draw a card. So I can trigger Katsu's ability and draw a card, which is really nice. But even if I am already going to hit with the card, um, I'll still Ancestral Empowerment sometimes to draw that extra card and really set up like large five, six card turns, which with Katsu equates to like five, six, seven attack turns um, if you do it right. So it's really good. I really enjoy using it. Um, and it's a cheap Majestic. I mean, it's four bucks. So a full play set's only, only going to cost you like 12, 15 bucks for shipping. Highly suggest getting it. One of the best pumps you can have in the set. Um, just all around great card. And then the artwork's sick. Like they call to him from the beyond the mist. It's time to come home. And you see like all of these, like, you know, um, samurai gods behind him, like calling him back. So it's just awesome to see. My fourth one is from Crucible of War is lunging press. It's an attack reaction. It's not a ninja card, but, um, I enjoy using lunging press because a lot of people don't expect it. Um, with Katsu, you'll see a lot of razor reflexes, right? You'll see a lot of ancestral empowerments, a lot of plunder runs, People don't expect that lunging press. And sometimes that can make the difference between getting a Katsu trigger, getting an on-hit effect like a Snatch or something like that. Um, it's just a card that not a lot of people would expect. I know it blew, it only blocks for two, which is a little bit of a downside. But with me as an aggro Katsu, I'm not blocking that much anyway. Uh, so I'll normally run three lunging presses. I can pitch them for Kadachis if I need to. I can discard them for Katsu ability if I need to. But I, honestly, I want to use these for that break point to get that on hit effect or get that Katsu trigger and keep pushing forward with my attack. So I, I really enjoy this as well. For my fifth and final one, um, I chose Razor Reflex, another attack reaction, the one that everybody always knows with Katsu or with anybody. Again, I always say, and most people say, 
If you played this game longer than two, three months, you've probably lost to a Razor Reflex. <laughs> it's definitely 100% true. But it's even more dangerous with Katsu because you can play us on both his Kadachis. So when you get your opponent down to like minus five life or like five or less life, they have to start playing around your Razors and it forces your opponent to overblock, which then allows you to just swing in with an attack. Um, sometimes I'll arsenal this card or I won't arsenal. I'll act like it's in arsenal, right? You know, try to bluff it a little bit, which means you Kadachi, Kadachi, and they basically have to overblock your Kadachis for four if they don't want to die which really hurts them, but then they can't because now all their cards are out of hand and you still can attack. So playing around a Razor when you're really low in life is really hard, and it's just an amazing card. And it gives all your attacks go again a plus three with the exception to open the center or surging strike. Um, so it's really good to keep your your hand going. Um, you pitch a blue, you Kadachi, Kadachi, play an attack, Razor it, um, and now all of a sudden you still probably have you know, one or two cards in hand, count your arsenal, and you can keep going with your attacks, and it's just really useful for that. So I really enjoy Razor. Um, so for me, my five were Pounding Gale, Rising Knee Thrust, Ancestral Empowerment, Lunging Press, and Razor Reflex. As you can see, all these cards under a dollar, with the exception of Ancestral Empowerment. So you can get literally, like, all these cards together for, like, 20 bucks, if less than that. So it's really useful, really good. I suggest using them and I just love I love the artwork on all of these. I love these cards in general. And Katsu's kind of my baby. So I really enjoy playing Katsu um, and enjoy his deck and, and the versatility he can bring. But let me know what you thought. Any other Katsu mains out there? Let me know what your favorite cards are. I love to hear different cards and different experiences with, with the hero. He's my favorite, so I'll always enjoy talking about him. I just love the artwork on the side, like the katana wrapping, basically, right? Like the sword wrapping is just awesome to see. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. And, you know, my next one will be Briar, which will be the interesting one. I mainly run Lightning Briar. So you're going to see more Lightning based cards uh, or cards that work in a Lightning Briar set. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think um, of the series. I know it's a little different, a little kind of casual, but I wanted to just, you know, make something that's kind of change of pace. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time on TCC Talk. And thank y'all so much for tuning into another video. I'll see y'all later.